Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Just wanted to come on and do a short, well not a short video, I really don't know how long it's going to be, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I've been asked, you know, what kind of storage I use for my drills or my beads for my beading. So, this video is going to really be about saving money. Um, on storage cases and whatnot, and you know where to go and what have you. So when I started beaded cross stitch, um, my husband for Christmas decided that um, he was going to get me some more storage cases, uh, more than you know what I use for my drills, for my diamond painting. Now for my diamond paintings. My go-to um, containers are Harbor Freights, and if you go to Harbor Freight, you can get them online, however you're going to pay for shipping. If you go to the actual Harbor Freight store, if you have one, these are like $4 for a pack of 24 um, individual things, and they hold a lot of drills, approximately... 12 bags of, um, I guess the, those, the bags are what, 200 drills in the bags when you get them with your kits. So, 12 of those would fit in one of these containers. So, I put a label on here, 12 bags goes in here, and it's good to go. And usually, my sweet size of diamond paintings are 40 by 50. So, I use two of these for, um, to kit up one project. And they're, like, really cheap. They're, you know, you can stack them. They're wonderful. My also go-to is these lockables. I did not purchase these online. They are more expensive online. Amazon is ridiculously priced for these. So, no. I did go to Michael's. Michael's has a daily coupon, um, either 40% off or 50% off. So these are normally $20 with tax. You can get these lockables with the, you know, half the price when you have the daily coupon. Uh, I like these lockables. A lot of people do not like them because of the reason that you have to push the button to open. However, I like them because I know my drills are not going to fall out of here. Um, once in a while, a drill will get caught in this little hole. But as we all know, even with the Harbor Freight, you just tap it and the drill goes right through there. And you can either open one of these at a time or you can open all of them. And this basic is... This basic button is a lock, so every time you open these lockables, you have to press this button. But I find these very, very helpful, and I use these actually either, um, you can use these to kit up a kit, you can use these to store extra drills. These are my some of my extra drills. I put a label on them with the DMC codes. And I close the books up. I have about, I don't know, 10 of these books. And they, you know, they're, they're neat. I put them like this in my craft room. You know, like books. And um, it's a good way to organize. Um, also, you can go to Walmart. Walmart has these. And you can get like a pack like this. For like... I think seven dollars and you get all sizes these you can use for kitting up smaller kits and they screw the top and so on these I use for my beads my rhinestones kits uh, my actually my beaded cross stitch projects and then you got the bigger size for those wonderful 310s or 5200s, you got medium size, and you got another, well, I guess these are called uh, a little bigger than medium size. 
but these are the large. So you can get a cluster of these for like, um, I don't know, it was like $7 or something. Now, so my husband got me different kinds of um, storage bins for my mm -hmm. cross stitch. And he went on to, excuse the cat, hello Binks, say hello to everybody. Um, I'm sorry, I lose my train of thought when the kitty is up here distracting me. <laughs> anyway, so he figured, you know, he, he would get these new storage bins for me. So he went to Harbor Freight online. He did pay shipping. These are $4.69 um, per container. It has 18 slots, so you can put 18 different symbols or colors, however you want to say it. I do not suggest these for drills for diamond painting or beads for beaded cross stitch and I'm going to tell you why if you, first of all they're very hard to open Ooh. I will be using these because Bob bought was generous enough and he bought me like eight packs of these things however guys I would not suggest these only because the reason and now this will come out. But anyway, they have dividers in these. Let me get this one here. Hold on. Mm. You're going to break your fingers. I'm telling you, you're going to break your fingers with these freaking things to open them. All right. These 18 compartments are divided by these little itsy-bitsy dividers. Okay? To make 18 compartments in this... Uh, case now four dollars and sixty nine cents is mm -hmm. not is not expensive however because this piece comes out guys and no matter how tight and far down you put these in this compartment to make your compartments you are going to find if you put your diamond painting drills or your beady cross stitch drills in these compartments you are going to have a bloody freaking mess because they go right underneath and go into the next compartment. So you're going to find your beads are mixed up. And when you got two shades of one color or something like that, you're going to see the difference. But the ones that are like just this much off, they're going to be mixed, and it's going to screw you up big time. Trust me, experience. I'm talking from experience. This has happened to me. Um, so, for instance, like two days ago, I was sitting doing my beady cross stitch. Um, I was putting some beads in here. I'm like, oh, I'm going to use my new containers, blah, blah, blah. I start putting them in, and I did not. I just closed it, and... I moved it flat right, and then I went to get them again, and I'm like, why are these mixed up? Oh my god. They went through the bottom of this. So this does not protect the beads or drills that you're using to go in the other compartments. So I don't suggest these. What I do suggest these for is like if you are into making jewelry, you're using the bigger beads. You know, because the drills and the drills are very small, you know, guys. But when you're doing beady cross stitch, also, they are tiny. They are small. They're like the size of a pin, a uh, pencil point. So you definitely don't want to use these containers. So I'm suggesting Harbor Freights all the way. And we're not talking these Harbor Freights. We are talking these Harbor Freights. The ones I told you in the beginning of the video that come in 24 a pack, and they close, open, very secure, put them in here, and, it keep, and, and you can label them, and it keeps your, your beads separated, you know exactly where your colors are, and each symbol is definitely separated. So, that's my tip to you guys. These are a no-no. For diamond painting or beaded cross stitch. 
I mean, if you want to sit with a tweezer or lick your finger and separate drills all day instead of doing your project, that's on you. But I don't suggest this because it took me about an hour with my beady cross stitch, little tiny ass beads, picking and separating the beads. So we learn. <laughs> we, I learned from my mistake because to be honest, when I open these, I'm like, oh, these are great. You know, we'll separate, we'll keep the drills for diamond painting in these Harbor Freights and we'll use these Harbor Freights for my beading projects. And I did not realize when, when I got these that these came out. So if I realized in the beginning that these came out, I wouldn't use these, but I would definitely use these for like, if you make bracelets or necklaces and you're using bigger beads, these are cool. They're very helpful, but for diamond painting and smaller beaded cross stitch projects, I don't suggest these at all. So go get yourself a lockable with the coupons, go to the dollar store. You can get the uh, pill, um, you could even get the pill bottles, you know, the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Put a label right on there, or if you don't want to spend money on the labels or whatnot, take a piece of masking tape, plop the DMC number on there, write it with a um, permanent marker, and they peel right off when you're unkitting your project. So it's no, um, they're not, that's not going to stay on there. So I just wanted to bring it, that to your attention. I use these Harbor Freight all the time. And my lockables I've used to store my drills. So I just wanted to come on and let you save some money and just advise all of you, especially the new, uh, newer guys, new people that are doing just new to diamond painting. Don't use the ones with the dividers that come out because trust me, <laughs> you will be pulling your hair out, okay? <laughs> I mean, pulling your hair out, dividing, fixing the problem. All right, guys, so that's all I have for you today. I hope you guys are all having a great day. If you're interested in more tips and tricks and um, updates and different kinds of crafts, subscribe to my channel, hit that little bell so you're notified. And um, have a great day, guys. Until my next video, take care.